back and following a two-game series sweep against Williamsport and more importantly a six-game winning streak now for the Scrappers. Let's talk about this game, man. Holy cow. I mean, you talk about ups and downs. This game gave you all the drama I think you could ask for, too. What was your mentality like going through the ebbs and flows, too, just keeping the guys calm, too? What was their mentality like in the dugout as well? Uh, you know, the one thing about this uh, this group, this is a, it's a resilient group. Uh, uh, they've been playing well for the past, uh, you know, week plus, and uh, I mean, pretty much all since, since they've uh, arrived here uh, for the second half, and uh, they're a confident group. They know that, uh, you know, we can score some runs offensively and uh, defensively. We've played solid, solid baseball, and... Uh, so um, it's a never, never say die mentality uh, throughout the room, and uh, you know that uh, that showed today. I think every little kid that picks up a bat in the Sandlot for the first time dreams of having a game like Adam Duran did today. I mean, a two home run performance. Just put into words what he meant to the team today, what he was seeing at the plate too, and how he was able to put you guys on the bat on your his back a couple of times. Oh man, um, Adam, he has been a welcome addition to the club. I mean, it's kind of tough when you're playing. Uh, you know, twice a week, you know, especially getting a, getting a rhythm uh, offensively. You know, he does an excellent job behind the plate uh, defensively, too, as we've come to learn. But, um, you know, on the offensive side, I mean, he, uh, he carried, carried the load today. You know, he really bailed us out uh, with some big bombs and uh, you know, has a quick bat. And uh, he was ready to hit the fastball and made some adjustments, uh, you know, with the off speed and did some serious damage. Earlier in the season with this second half team, we talked about how you guys would drop games because the other team would score first, too, and you, you would want to start in front. His last two games, the other team did score first. You guys still managed to get a win. What do you think has been a switch, or do you, what do you, can you explain, I guess, about the character of this team to be able to play from behind and still get wins now? Uh, as, as I said, it's a resilient group. As I said, offensively, um, I think these guys kind of know uh, what it, it, it takes to to win baseball games. I think they're playing as a team, um, and there's no I in team. They know that uh, there uh, are man-to-man uh, -man components of baseball, but when it's all said and done, it's a team sport. And so as far as productive outs and moving guys over and putting your teammate in the best, better situation that may uh, you know, lead to us scoring more runs and getting more opportunities to score runs, um, you know, that's what this team, I think, has embraced. Um, you know, just the little things, the little things as far as, you know, butting the guy over and, um, you know, uh, moving the guy over as far as, uh, uh, you know, an extra 90 feet, giving us an opportunity to score runs and cheap runs and uh, those, those things like that add up, and that's winning baseball. Final question for you. You now guys, you guys now have a little off day tomorrow, travel day, and you go to Trenton, and this is going to be a big series inside the league as far as standings are concerned. On a six-game winning streak, how excited are you just to test your your team's talents against the other top team in the draft league right now? I mean, that's why they play the games. You know, uh, Trenton has an excellent team over there. We've seen them uh, earlier, um, and um, you know we're playing good baseball. They're playing good baseball, so it should be a good series. And we're looking forward to uh, the challenge of going back up to Trenton and hopefully uh, stealing uh, stealing a pair or two or three. But we got to win one before uh, you go in two. So. One game at a time. One game at a time, indeed. Scrappers back in action starting Tuesday, starting a three-game set against the Trenton Thunder.